Who's the funniest? It's not making the cut anyway. <laughs> it could. Funniest looking? Well, we know that's him. I'm the funniest looking and the funniest? <laughs> I'm just a ball of funny? <laughs> yeah, you're just a ball of funny. And churros. <laughs> Stop. I'm a ball of funny You're gonna die of a heart attack. But at least I will die with the belly full of churros. But <laughs> Carnival is over for us. There's one night left. Um, today's Fat Tuesday, so there's. But, but we've experienced it. Yeah. So, so we're we are all done with La Paz. It was a beautiful surprise to us coming here. Um, it's a city, so we were thinking for sure two days, maybe, yeah. just kind of passing just through. Pass through, stock up, and then leave. Yeah, and that turned into uh, about two months. Yeah. <laughs> In the area, we did do some day tripping or some, we took a couple weeks to go around Toto Santos and all mm -hmm. of that, but um, the La Paz area for us has just been spectacular. So we decided to come to La Paz initially and spend a little more time because we really needed to get some work done. We had... Our part-time jobs that we do online to help fund our trip we also had videos to play catch up on had a lot of editing to do so you could watch all of our previous videos we're working on our website and rebranding it and making sure we could get information out to you about how to connect with the places and the people that we traveled to so we had a whole lot of work we needed to do and when you drive from place to place to place to place it's hard to do all that so we said let's just stop in La Paz for a little bit mm -hmm. and let's get some work done that was the first reason why we were really down to spend some time in La Paz. And then I got sick. Really? <laughs> yeah, for like three or four weeks. Yeah. So That was a long, miserable time. Yeah, it was because I was stuck in here and couldn't do anything. Couldn't have any fun or really like enjoy the beauty that was around us except look at it. The fact that we were at a beach yeah. didn't help. It about killed me. It was hard. but. So let's talk about that. Are you are you better now? I'm better now. What so, was it? What was going on? Well, I'm pretty sure I picked up some sort of stomach bug uh, that just lasted way too long than it should. And took some medication that got rid of it. Then did blood work. To make sure that it was all clear and that it wasn't a Crohn's flare-up, that all came back good. It all came back, everything was good. So, no inflammation, no parasites. And doctor told me to cut out gluten, dairy, coffee, and that's been really hard. <laughs> so, I haven't had really yeah. any of that. Especially the gluten and the coffee. So in the midst of Lindsay being really sick, we realized we had to make some tough decisions. We at one point even thought maybe we need to call it quits on what we're doing now and just mm -hmm. run back, put her on a plane, get her back to Florida. And we, we thought it was going to be that serious and our, our trip would be over. So in the middle of all of that, we did some real serious heart searching. Um, we did some praying. We did some talking with our friends. And we had a lot of decisions that came up that we had to make. Um, some smaller, some bigger, but we, I think we made all those decisions. Yes. And now it's just living through them. So we can't really share all of those. Um, spoiler alert, they're awesome. Uh, I think most of them, 99 of, well, we didn't make 99 decisions, but <laughs> We, we made some some pretty big decisions and we're going to be sharing that with you when the time is right But for now the one decision that we can share with you is that we have one last thing We're going to take you to go and do before we leave La Paz yep. La Paz has been wonderful But our first decision is it is now officially time to leave Yeah So you ready to go do this one thing? Yep, let's do it All right <laughs>
Alright guys, we are currently on our way to Belanger Beach. We decided we were going to go spend the day there. You've probably heard of it. It is one of the most popular and considered to be the most beautiful beach in all of Baja. It is a great place. Usually can be pretty busy, so I recommend getting there early so that you can park in the parking lot. Well, just kidding. There's some sort of craziness going on and the parking lot is shut down at Belandra and there's nowhere to park. So we just had to make a five point turn to get out of there. And we are actually gonna go down the road to Tecalote and see how it looks there. So we'll show you that. It's another good beach uh, that's down here in La Paz. It's pretty as well, but it is not a bay. It's just a beach, it's still beautiful. And you can see the island, Espiritu Santo, from the beach. It's great. Um, and we might just hang out there for today. So, and this is a beach that you can camp on. It's a good beach for camping. It's large. A lot of people camp there. And uh, it's a great spot as well. Another change of plans. Always change of plans. <laughs> the wind is horrible here at Tecalote and we're not going to stay. There's just no point. No point. Yeah. It's beautiful when it's calm and we had one morning, we got to camp out here one night and we had a beautiful morning mm -hmm. where it was calm and beautiful, but this is, there's breakers. It's like being in Florida. Yeah. There's and like, you could surf these waves. Yeah. It I wouldn't, wouldn't be fun, it, but. It that, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty bad. So. Uh, called to wander. We're getting back on the road. I guess our one last thing. It's going to Magdalena Bay. Yeah, maybe we'll see some gray whales. We're gonna go check out Magdalena Bay. We are officially going to be making our northward trek. We've been in La Paz, in the area of La Paz, in the southern part of BCS for now about two months, and we've enjoyed every minute of it, aside from you being sick. Yeah. But we are, uh, it's time to go. And uh, we're called to wander, so I'm not surprised we make plans and the plans go sideways. So we're going to hit the road and uh, do some errands in La Paz. we got to fill up on water and get some fuel. Yeah. But we got propane, we've got food, mm -hmm. we got a little bit of cash, and let's make a run for it. Let's go. All right. water place called Aqua La Paz pretty much for every fill up while we've been in La Paz and we've befriended the guy that works here we love him he's super nice and he's actually from San Luis Potosi on the mainland so we're hoping maybe maybe when we're on the mainland and he's back there we might be able to meet up with him we'll see but he's super cool we also like this place because they have a hose <laughs> So it's been great. We could fill up by a hose instead of having to kind of funnel the water in there. Yeah. Yep. Well, this is it. Bye, La Paz. Goodbye, La Paz. It's been a good two months. What a cool little city. Beaches, all the people, the carnival, everything. We uh, we had a really good time. Here. Whale sharks, sea lions. Whale sharks, sea lions, snorkeling, paddle boarding, swimming, man, yeah. making friends, spending good time with friends. It was a good time.
realize something. What? I love to drive. Yeah. I love the road. It's been a while since we had a real drive. It's been a long time. Yeah. Remember that time we drove 30,000 miles to Alaska and kind of back? Yeah. Wasn't that, wasn't that fun? Can we do it again? No. <laughs> we got to head the other way. Even though we're headed north. Wasn't it, uh, I mean, isn't it fun? Like the open road, I just, I love, we've had the music on. We've been, been singing. singing. I can't tell you what we've been singing because. Oh, we you, can't show you. Oh, we can't show you. YouTube would flag us, but we've been singing a little Fat Bottom Girls and uh, a little Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> what else have we been singing? We've been singing some fun stuff. Our so favorite band, some Chris Stapleton. Some Chris Stapleton. Johnny Swim. Johnny Swim. Great Johnny Swim. Need to breathe. So we've been singing along because that's what we do when we drive. We sing and it's been a blast and I have I have missed putting some miles behind us. Yeah. So not that we want to go super fast wherever we go but it is it's fun. So I'm, I'm glad to be back on the road. I'm feeling good. That's what I wanted to say. How are you feeling? Good. I'm feeling good. It's exciting to be back. into if you want to make the drive to Magdalena Bay to see the gray whales in the Pacific Ocean. The town where Magdalena Bay is is San Carlos. It is about a 30 to 45 minute drive from Ciudad Constitution. You can pretty much day trip out there, go in the morning, find a boat to get on, and then go see the gray whales, and then probably make your way back to Ciudad Constitution. We are going to take you out to San Carlos and show you the ropes and show you where you could find a boat that you can charter to take out to see the whales. Ciudad Constitution is also the city where gringos get pulled over by the police all the time. There are a lot of stop signs and make sure that you stop at every single one completely because the cops are looking for any white people that are not stopping at the stop signs. They'll pull you over for any reason. So just be very cautious when you're driving through here. has to buy dinner. Oh, oh she blinked. You blinked. You're buying dinner? <laughs> We're at Puerto... Oh no, San Carlos. We're at... I never know where we are. We're at Puerto San Carlos. It is a great place to go whale watching. You can book online. There's tons of places you can book online, especially during peak season, which is between February and April. Or you can drive into town about a 45 minute drive from Ciudad Constitution. Nice scenic drive and when you get into town there's plenty of places that have yeah, signs. Just pick a place and walk in. Yeah. Um, anybody wants to take you out there there's tons of whales to see during the peak season. So we just walked around drove through town kind of scoped it out. It's really windy this afternoon and we weren't planning on seeing the whales here. In fact, we're looking forward to going back to Laguna San Ignacio. Go see our friend Antonio and Antonio's Eco Tours when we do our whale watching. But we did want to come out here and scope it out for you because it is a really popular place to see the, the whales. And if you happen to be in the area, you can drive out here 100% paved road and not like, um, not like some of these- It's an easy drive. Yeah, some of Very these paved easy. roads with potholes and stuff. It's not like that. Yeah, it's a nice paved It was a road. super easy drive. So if you are looking for a place where you don't have to go off-road like we're going to have to do in San Ignacio and the Laguna, 
um, this is a great place where you can do that without having to go off road. And there's uh, lots of places to stay if you need a hotel. There's tons of hotels here. There is an RV park and there are a couple of boondocking spots that's listed on Overlander. Yeah, so you could come out here and there's the town has over 5,000 people, which is bigger than our favorite little town in Wyoming, yeah, Thermopolis. It's a decent size. It is pretty big. It's a fishing community, so lots of pongas already and it's built up around fishing. But there's stores, restaurants, hotels. Yeah, everything you could need. Yeah. There is a gas station, but there is no diesel from what we understand. So you would want to plan that out. But again, you're 45 minutes about, I guess, about 35 miles from Seedite Constitution, which is where we're headed right now. We're going to get gas. We're going to find our RV park to camp for the night. Yeah. And call it a day for our first day away from La Paz. Misiones RV Park, and that's just outside, just to the north of Ciudad Constitution. And it's a great place to break up the drive between La Paz and Loreto, or Loreto and La Paz. We like it so far. Yeah, it's a cute little park. It has a pool, and it has hot showers and Wi-Fi. Yeah, full hookup for 300 pesos, yeah. which is not bad, and you can dry camp for 200 pesos. Um, Lindsay's gonna cook something delicious tonight. Yeah, so we need electricity. And there's two really cute dogs. There are two really cute dogs. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> and then there's our jealous dog. Nice. So we're going to get set up for the night. Hopefully the dogs will play. Lindsay's going to cook some dinner and uh, we're just going to hang out this evening. We are not in a rush. It's only five o'clock. So we have another hour, hour and 15 minutes of sunlight. So we didn't rush to get here. We got in with plenty of time to set up, relax, and uh, try to figure out what we're going to do tomorrow and where we're going to go.